What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jaylee, and I am back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you are new, you like my vibe, stay a while and hit that subscribe button. Y'all, we are about to get ready and go to the gym. It is Monday afternoon, and I'm about to get ready and get off work. And I threw on my same old little workout clothes. Threw on my same old work. Well, y'all know I don't have workout clothes. I pretty much just throw on some leggings, a tank top, and this little jacket here. Y'all know I, I this this little pink jacket here y'all I've been wearing this jacket for the longest I've had it since probably like right around when Tootie was born and she's gonna be 12 this year y'all so I'm like I just bought some workout clothes so why not why not go ahead and just wear that so we're gonna wear one of these workout sets so I was pretty much thinking about wearing the blue set this right here and then this little little gray little twisty crop top like I'm like, girl, you got the clothes. Wear the clothes. I don't know why I don't ever wear my clothes yet. Hold on, y'all. Huh. I can't wear this, y'all. I cannot wear this because I didn't buy any shoes. I don't have any workout shoes. I told y'all I, I needed all black, either black and white workout shoes. Y'all know all I have is those black and pink pair. So, can we wear them shoes? Because my, um, uh, y'all see? My little... Uh, sweatband is pinky black and also my little hand things is pinky black so they kind of can like kind of match that vibe or I could just go and throw this on but that's still not the right kind of pink y'all see that's exactly what I be talking about and this is exactly why I just be throwing on some dang old legs and a t-shirt and just calling it that I need like a I need like a black jacket y'all and I was gonna go look on Amazon but I know I can find something like cheaper. We're gonna try to find one. So I'm gonna just go with this little tank top right here. Well, it's a sports bra. And I hate putting it on, on the inside because when I put my band on the inside, y'all, it make my underwear like sweat. Like, you know, the sweat be dripping. So I don't know if I wanna just keep it on the outside. I may just keep it on the outside. Now I just let it as that. <laughs> too much going on. I think I got too much going on now, y'all. It's, it's really, it's, it's not giving. It's not real giving. Exactly why I just be throwing anything on, y'all. I'm just, I'm not playing. I be throwing anything on. Um, it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter at this point. We just gonna, we gonna go with the flow. And now I just have to go, um, go get a black jacket. And I, I I don't know y'all. We just also since we on the subject can work out clothes. Now I bought these leggings from Amazon. These supposed to be little popular ones. And these are those, don't get me wrong. They go to the ankle and everything as well. They're very, very high waisted. And very high waisted. I don't really like like that too much. And then also like the band. To me, like the tummy control, to me, the band is very it's very wide, but the band is not thick. It's like a cotton spandex type of material. It is just, it don't give you that type of, like, I don't know what type of band this is, but it gives you that band that where it can actually hold everything in. To me, I just feel as if these are a little bit too thin for me. So I'm gonna go send these back. I'm actually gonna send these back. And yeah, I got them on the lightning deal. I think they were like ten dollars, but we're gonna get our ten dollars back. So y'all, we doing so good with the returns, and that's actually one of the reasons why I'm returning the Walmart leg too. There's really no support, and y'all see how how big it was. It was just too much. If I was to do some squats and stuff, it just give you that gap in the back, and I don't got time for none of that. I have the bag, so I am back, y'all. I had a really good workout. I'm not gonna lie. And today was like the first day. Today was like the first day that I um that I got back on the treadmill for a full 30 minutes. For a full 30 minutes, y'all. Cause y'all know I had stopped doing it because I was doing too much cardio because it was counseling out my uh my muscle. So I think I got it down now. I got it down on what I need to do. I got some uh catfish 
a catfish fillet, green beans, and then uncle beans, jazz, and rice. And I wasn't gonna fix all this, y'all, but why not? Why not? That's actually a big piece of uh, fish, too, y'all. That's a big piece of fish. I really haven't ate anything heavy today. Because on lunch, well, breakfast, I ate oatmeal with bananas and um, a piece of sausage. And then for. <coughs> oh, that's seasoning. <coughs> mm. And then for lunch, all I had was a salad and like this little pesto pasta. So. I know I have a lot of calories left over that I need to be eating. Plus all the calories that I just burned off in the gym, so. Mmm. I see, I love good seasoned green beans. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I finished everything. Um, we got some jasmine rice. We got a piece of catfish. Filet and we got some seasoned green beans. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. Everyone needs someone to rely on. Yes, everyone needs a friend. So let's come together. Celebrate each other, stand united as one. We lift our hands up and pray. Lay all our love before Him with all of our faith. He is the change within us. There is a light. Let Him lead the way. Lift our hands up and pray today.
y'all. Happy Wednesday. I am drinking my honey chamomile tea as you all seen. I just started back using my face mask. So you all pretty much got a glimpse of my morning routine and how things have been going. Y'all know every time I start my day off in the work, my days always be so good. Everything kind of just flows. And it's just, it be feeling so good, y'all. So y'all kind of got a glimpse of that. And I was telling y'all last vlog that I was reading the book of Job. Well, I just finished it last night. And y'all, it's just amazing. It's just amazing how he never gave up. And I think that was just, I was telling y'all, I was explaining my situation, which you all kind of knew, kind of know what's kind of been going on, what was going on with me earlier this year. It was just so much. And I felt as if I just wanted to give up. So I was explaining that to somebody and they told me to read the book of Job. So, and I pretty much, I see why they told me to read it, y'all. Because he went through so much. He went through so much, y'all. And just for him to never give up his faith. Like, it was amazing, y'all. It was amazing for he just, he always kept his faith. Hold on, I got my notes. Hold on, y'all. That's pretty much what I was doing this morning. So, was I read, I finished reading it last night. And this morning, I, um, I kind of got tired last night. So, um, I had finished this morning on taking my notes on the book of Job. So, um, for those who don't know, it's that Job was a blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. He was the greatest man among the East. And he was tested, y'all. And he just never gave up. He never gave up his faith. And for his friends to sit there and blame this. And it, it's just so much it went. It, it's just so much it went into, y'all. And I'm still trying to understand everything that the whole conversation as far as going back and forth i'm still trying to understand that and get revelation from it so i'm gonna have to probably go back into it just a little bit more but um but yeah it's just it just made me realize like god is always in control at the end of the day god is always in control in a in a the scripture that pretty much stood out to me the scripture that stood out to me y'all was first corinthians 10 and 13 and it says, let us take heart. Satan may attack, but God is always able to deliver us from temptation. It's just, <laughs> and I felt so bad after seeing everything that he went through, y'all. And he just never gave up his faith. And I just go back and look at it. And it's like, I literally just about gave up. I literally just about gave up. And I feel so bad because I, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. And I know God... He does not put more on us that we can bear. And it's just so much. I should have read this when he told me to. I probably would have been in a better position. I probably wouldn't have kind of just gave up like that. But I should have read it a little bit earlier, sooner. But like I said, kept telling y'all, I just kept on getting signs to read it. And I mean, you know, better late than never. So I finally read it and I finished it. And now I understand everything. And at the end, God literally gave Joel twice as much as he had in the beginning, y'all. And that was just so... <laughs> amazing for me so the things that i took down so i wanted to give a little bit more revelation so y'all know i go and google things so um the lessons learned is god is always in control satan is subject to god and i always knew that satan does have to get permission from from god to attack and it, it is always and i know that y'all and i know that and one thing that i just love the way this is is it's nothing that satan does is outside of god's control although his range is great he cannot function beyond what god allows y'all and it's just just reading all that this morning and just going into that deep and it's just like it's just i feel good i really feel good even though i kind of was already coming up out the situation but i now i know i could have handled that whole situation a little bit different but um i tried not i didn't give up my faith all the way but i pretty much just about gave up y'all because it was just so much and and god was really he was he was strengthening me he was strengthening me and he he gave us an endurance like i could i could have i should have endured that child it's just it just so much goes back into that child but i just taking the time out to you know go in and just read like i need to take the time out for god like i need to y'all and it's just you know, your life be so much more better and peaceful. Y'all know I go in and out all the time. I go in and out all the time, back and forth all the time, everything. And it just, every single time, it's just, I learn so much more. And like I said, I just mature more. So I have different revelations from when I read certain things back then from when I read things now, y'all. But that's pretty much how my morning going, y'all. I'm about to get ready and get Zuri ready. 
She is eating breakfast now. It's 7.55. I'm about to get ready and clock in for work. Do me a little, do a little work. Then I have to uh, finish getting her ready and drop her off from school to school, y'all. Yeah. All right, child, we about to drop this little one off already. Say good morning. <laughs> and yeah, I got this big old ice, uh, not ice, but y'all see this? This dang on water. I got that um, water when I went to the grocery store la last week, but I never took it in the house. I don't want to carry that big old thing in the house. Um, so it just been sitting there because normally I leave it in the trunk, but it didn't even make it in the trunk. So, so we're just sitting there for now, and she actually doesn't mind it being um, being under there. This car is trying to—I bet you this car is trying to get over. I think those big houses don't have gates in the backyard. I think... Why they don't have gates in the backyard? Yeah, those big houses. I know some just don't have gates, baby. So I'm back and we about to make breakfast, y'all. And I realized that the thumbnail in my last vlog had the picture of the avocado toast with tomatoes and turkey bacon. And I realized that I never even put that in a vlog. I just had took a picture of it. So we're going to go ahead and make that now. Now, I have this avocado. It should be well right now. And let me see. And I'm actually... I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make an omelet. <laughs> I couldn't get out what I was gonna say. I'm gonna make an omelet. I still have my um, everything bagels and these are the um, thin slices. So first thing I'm gonna do is put the um, omelet on first. And I think I'm gonna just use one egg instead of two. Cause being that I have this avocado toast that's pretty much gonna fill me up. So we're gonna do one egg, the bagel, and then two pieces of um, turkey bacon. I think that's what we're gonna do. have our breakfast y'all then i also made my superfoods um drink as well but yeah yeah got my avocado toast with my everything bagel seasoning with some um tomatoes on top i made an omelet and i did use parmesan cheese because parmesan cheese is a little bit um it has more protein more protein than the um, regular mild cheddar cheese and then also two pieces of turkey bacon and this is a new turkey bacon that i'm trying y'all it's the uncured kind Y'all see how it looks? Not too... It's okay. Mm, it's, it's okay. So y'all know I'm about to turn this up. Let's see if I did. Look, my stomach rattling. Let me see if my seasoning on point. Y'all know I love me some garlic powder in my eggs. Like, it just does something to the eggs. Y'all ain't tried that. Try it. Mmm. That's fur. Can't put too much in it though. Mm. That's so good. It's probably making me full too. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. So, um, got a few things that we're about to get ready and do. Well, just a couple things for right now, y'all. 
So y'all remember like a month ago, a month and a half ago, I got all that stuff together that I was supposed to take to the Goodwill. Yeah, I never took it to the Goodwill. So we about to get ready and do that now, y'all, because I'm tired of looking at this stuff in the middle of my basement floor. And I mean, I'm just, I'm tired of putting it off and procrastinating. I'm going down there, I'm looking at it, and it's just really irritating me. It, it, it's just getting on my nerves because it's just sitting there. And then I have yet to call to get the TV picked up. I ain't did nothing what I need to do, y'all. Like, when I say I have my time to wear, I'm ready to go through and clean the basement and do this and do that. And other times, I barely go down there. Honestly, I barely go down there. I only go down there to wash, honestly. So, yeah. So, we're about to get ready and do that. I got to load this car up and hurry. Hopefully, I can get it done before it start raining. Because it's supposed to rain pretty bad this afternoon. And it's already a little bit after 11. And I was hoping while, while I'm out, I can grab, like, some chicken wings from Snooks, that way I can eat my chicken and my salad. Y'all know that's been like my go-to. Um, I've been eating a lot of fish lately though. I've been eating a lot of fish lately. And then also, the second thing that we need to get done is, well that's later on this, um, this evening, once the girls get out of school, I have a parent-teacher conference. That's um, when I get off. And I don't know why I made it for that time because first of all, it's my gym, it's my gym day. So I don't know, and then honestly, I don't even know if the conference is online or in person. I'm not exactly sure. I'm a, I'm guessing in person, I don't know. Cause the last one I did, it was online, so I'm not exactly sure. But I guess I need to be figuring it out and finding it out real soon, y'all. So let's go ahead and get this done, y'all, cause I'm still sitting here. And the longer I sit here, the longer that stuff is gonna sit in the basement. And I'll be picking up this vlog a month from now. <laughs> Saying the same exact thing, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. And while I was sitting here, y'all, my package came. So I guess we can, um, I can show y'all what that is. Okay. All right, so. It is. From Steve Madden and these are some sandals yeah I know I'll be buying all my sandals and and uh, shopping out of season let's see oh they fit so I think I went up a size I went up a size a half size because that's what the reviews told me to do the review said go up a size. So, that's what I did. Why do you look so big? Oh, they are small. Oh, and they're tight too. But going up half size did work, y'all. So, these are, what kind of shoes are these? I don't even know. I don't even know the name of them, y'all. I'll put it on the screen. But these right here. Now, I originally, like, these are so cute, y'all. Like, and these are a, uh, okay, there you go, right there. Now, these are an eight and a half. I normally wear an eight when it comes to, like, my sandals or my heels. I pretty much, like, my women's sizes, all of it, I wear a size eight. So, it said go, um, when I read the reviews and everything, it said go up a half size. So, I did, y'all. Now, I originally wanted the Hermes sandals, and y'all know those are $600. And I'm not gonna lie, oh, that's just my phone. Okay, email saying that the shoes have been delivered, and I got like all these type of notifications turned on for my notifications. But like I was saying, the Hermes sandals, I really did not want to pay $600 for. And honestly, I had them on my, these sandals were, amongst other things, were actually on my, what do you call it, um, vision board. Like it was on my goal board. It was some things that I really wanted to do if I hit my goals. If you know, I told y'all like this year is something I wanted to start doing was start treating myself to the things that I actually want. And not just going out to get just little things here and there. If I really want something, I'm going to save for it and I'm going to get it. And like I said, after I went through my whole fast and everything, like a lot of my desires and stuff had changed. So I literally took, there's, there's nothing on my vision board as far as like, any type of material things, y'all. I took everything off because, like I said, my desires had changed. But when I came across these, and I'm like, oh, 
These look exactly the same. And I love some Steve Madden. And these were only, was they 60? I think they were 60. I think it was 60 on sale. I'm not exactly sure, but because they are having their, um, I think it's like the friends and family sale. And it's the Hayden, Hayden sandal, Hayden white leather. Um, whatever it was, I got it 30% off. So, and they're so cute, but I can't say they're very, um, they're very tight. So if you have wide feet, I will not recommend these. I have, um, my feet is actually narrow and I actually have a, a really um high arch which is why my feet is so little like I still wear a kids five and a half for me to be as tall as I am <laughs> but it's, it looks bright though yeah it look right but these are cute so yeah after having these on just for this like short amount of time like I can't say they are stretching out so I think they would be cool they will be fine but now I'm decided if I should have went with the eight I mean, eight and a half is not fine, which, I mean, eight and a half, it is fine. And I probably just stick with it because I believe if I would have gotten an eight, it probably would fit perfect. But at the same time, I know how my feet, I mean, everybody's feet swells. And especially in the summertime, I don't know if anybody ever paid attention. Like, am I, are y'all crooked? I don't know if anybody ever paid attention to how their feet swell. And especially in sandals, like how if your feet fits tighter by the end of the night like I've noticed it especially depending on how much salt and sodium you intake so I've definitely noticed they started noticing that last summer but I like them I really do like them now like I was saying as far as the Hermes sandals they were on my list and I was actually considering getting them but y'all $600 for a pair of sandals I'm not judging nobody that do it, I know everybody had them, but that ain't me right now. And I don't think it will be me. Um, I don't know where I was, what I was thinking of even putting it on my vision list of trying to get that, but I don't think I would spend six hundred dollars on some sandals. Honestly, that's just it's just something that I don't think that I can do, and that's just speaking for me as of right now. <laughs> um, I just I just can't see myself doing that, and it, it's just no. Yeah, these are the exact same sandals. Now don't, they do have some. They have like the all white ones and they also have some, they got the brown going around like the brown stitching. So these are those, don't know what I'm talking about. These are the Hermes sandals that I was talking about. I mean, you really can't even tell the difference. You really can't tell the difference between those and these. I mean, I don't know, I've never had those. I'm only looking at a picture. But from a standpoint, just looking at this, honestly, I really don't care. But these are so cute. Cause like I said, I will be, um. I told y'all, I have been wearing, y'all know, all I, I have a whole bunch of Tory Burch sandals. And like Tory, that's bae. Like I love me some Tory. And when I say all of my sandals, or the majority of my sandals are Tory Burch. I think Tory Burch is really nice as far as like on a whole luxury side to me. I think Tory Burch and also um, Coach. I think those brands um, are really, is on a low end. But to me, I feel like it's on a high end, especially Coach because their leather is actually really good. Like their leather is really good. Like I said, this year, it's time to get all new sandals because I've been wearing my sandals, baby. Especially those black ones, them look so dusty. So now, I just have to get- Now before we leave out y'all, so I just pretty much did my edges. I just did my edges as you all seen earlier in the video. Well, earlier today and throughout the video, I haven't really been doing my edges. Um, I've been trying to, I mean, I have faux locks, of course. And faux locks with all the baby hair and everything. And it's just, y'all know I've never been like a baby hair type of girl. And, or like just the edges and all of that. I do a little something, but I don't really do too much. I really don't care for it. I'm trying to come to the, I don't know if it's just the faux locks itself, y'all. I'm, I'm getting into this little stage in my life. Y'all know I've been going through changes and it's like, I want to start embracing more of my naturalness. And y'all know I love my natural curls and y'all know I love my clippings. Like, I love that style. And I had told y'all that was like my signature style. And then when I put these in, I haven't had faux locks in years. I um, used to do them all the time. This was before I started vlogging. But, but I haven't done them in years. So, let me put this in here. Um, so, when I did them or whatever, I'm like, okay. The whole point of me doing this style, like I told y'all, was to have a protective style. 
I wanted my hair to be, you know, protected. I want I didn't want to be planting my hair every day. I'm just trying to get my health and pretty much my strength back up. And this camera's getting on my nerves. It's been going in and out for the longest. It's just it's click 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 clicking and you hear it in my actual video. I don't know what's wrong. But I've been trying not to do anything to my edges. I oiled my hair this morning and of course this is not finna stay. It's, it's coming down already. I end up putting this um edge fixer fixer on it and I, I have a lot of different edge controls i have this one here this is supposed to be really good like the biotin and stuff for the edges but nothing really hold my edges nothing hold my edges and this one i just put on here it makes it really white and and honestly i'm fine with how it looks right now because it's it's laid right here but then it start curling once it get like right there which is fine because having the faux locks i don't mind it because it gives i like the i like the roughness of it and that's what i was getting at y'all i'm just trying to get into the stage of my life to where i'm just start starting to embrace my naturalness now i do have some makeup on and y'all yeah, know i wear makeup i don't wear makeup i really don't care for it but sometimes certain styles i feel as if i do need makeup and that's where I don't <laughs> and I just want to get into just embracing my naturalness a little bit more and <laughs> yeah I know I be going through stuff <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying y'all but it's just I just want to start embracing my naturalness more and so I'm thinking I'm going to be rocking these for quite some time I don't really want these particular kind anymore because it's really hard because like I did the individuals in the front and I actually want to go through and do my hair my whole head individually I don't want to do the crochet but these here is too like it's I can't really get the thing in there as much I don't really like it it's not as loose it's very tight and it'll take forever for me to do my whole head like that so I'm gonna get a different kind but I think I'm gonna try to do these just keep doing these every like three weeks and yes, I say three weeks. I was going to say two because it really just depends on my scalp. Because I told y'all it's been dry lately. But when I tell y'all that Care Care Hair Glosser, when I say that's been doing wonders as far as in my head and also Tootie's head because her hair been flaking a lot too. So I'm just pretty much trying to get my strength back in my hair. Just, just get my hair back to the healthiest that it was. So, because right now, it's fine, but like I told you, I kept on um, blow drying my hair. I feel like the strength is just giving up, which is why I had to do that protein treatment. But we're just going to get everything back, y'all. Okay, hush. You go take them boots and stuff off. Let them know how your how your um parent teacher conference went. It was good, and I met after and I cry fake and I walk like an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah, Zuri is a she's an actress. She's an actress. She she's like an overachiever. Everything has to be perfect, and she's doing really good in her reading skills, her math. She's um, right on le she's right on grade level. Um, so she's doing really good in school, y'all. Yeah, so with her doing so good, we went to Snooks. And we got some cake pops. And we got her two cake pops. I told yep. her because she normally, y'all yeah, know she loves her cake pops from Starbucks. So I'm like, we go to Snooks, we can get two for the price of one. So, what kind did you get? Velvet and strawberry shortcake. Velvet, for <laughs> those in here. It's red and white. Yeah, you can't see your camera right here, not the viewfinder, you gotta put it right there. <laughs> it's right here. Yep. So, it goes here, right there, see? Mm -hmm. Not like right there. Okay. You wanna show them so, the... Oh, she put the hand behind it, okay. Get it. <laughs> and then... It's strawberry, it's velvet. Okay. It's right here. Mm -hmm. And it got wood on it and white. And then this is strawberry shortcake. And it's pink. <laughs> so she got that, uh, and y'all, the microwave is on. So I ended up getting her that because she did really good, y'all. And my face looks so oily. Whew, a lot more quieter now, y'all. 
but this right here is the end of the video i'm going to close it out y'all because tomorrow is friday that begins <laughs> that begins my weekend vlog I told you i'm trying to bring y'all back two videos per week but um if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to give your girl a thumbs up comment and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next video Bye.